What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a little bit of a different thing that I'm gonna be doing. On the days when I'm not posting my full ball reviews and comparisons, I wanna show you guys a couple of shorter, more technical videos. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I tape my fingers, why I tape my fingers, and what's the feel like going from no tape on my fingers to actually taping my fingers. So if you guys like this video and you'd like to see more of these technical videos in the future, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay, so why I tape my fingers. So I tape my fingers because I bowl a lot. I'm talking about 30, 40 games a week. And because of that, for me, I start to cut around these, uh, this crease right here in my fingers. And yes, I can change my pitches a little bit to make it so that it stops rubbing there but I really like the fit that I have now. And when I go a little bit more away on the fingers, I start to lose it at the bottom a little bit. So I'd rather just tape up my fingers and then that way I know that I'm not gonna cut up in that area. Then the next big thing is the feel. So it feels way different using tape around the fingers and not taping your fingers. So on our fingers, we have nerve endings. So you, when you put your fingers into the bowling ball, whether you use grips, whether you don't use grips, you can feel the grip, you can feel the bowling ball. But then when you tape up your fingers, you're covering those nerve endings with the tape. So now it's not your fingers that's touching the grip or touching the bowling ball, it's the actual tape. So that feel is a little bit different. And for me personally, I prefer the way it feels with the tape because it almost forces, forces me to be even more behind the ball so that I can get as much pressure as possible on my finger pads. So for me, it actually helped even with my ball roll. Now, I'm not saying that's gonna help you guys, but that's just what I feel. So, okay, so now how do I tape and what tape do I use? So for me, I use the Turbo Big Red. I really, really like this tape because it's a little bit thicker and it only stretches one way so you're not gonna have a whole lot of that roll up because once the tape starts to roll up your finger, it starts to feel like a complete nightmare. And then one big thing that I need to uh, explain to you guys also is that your, your finger inserts are gonna go up uh, into a bigger size because you're taping your fingers. So for me personally, I went up a size and a half going from no tape to adding tape to my fingers. My buddy Ryan, who you guys see in my live streams all the time, he just started taping his fingers and he went up two full sizes. So the best thing that I can tell you guys is that if you're interested in taping your fingers, definitely go into your local pro shop and have them test out different grip sizes to make sure that you're gonna be into the right size. Okay, so again, this is the Turbo Big Red. So what I do, and then I have just like a regular scissor, nothing, this is a Scotch, nothing special scissor here. So what I do is I cut them up into pieces of nine squares. In the back, they have squares. So I took, so this is an unopened roll, and then I cut it up into a bunch of little pieces so that when I'm at the bowling center, it makes it easier on myself. So I, ha I cut it into nine, nine squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. So it'll be two and a half squares here per finger. And then guys, just so you know, there's a bunch of different ways to tape your fingers. This is just the way that I have found that it's better for my game. So, and I hope it helps you guys also. So now I have two that are two and a half wide by nine long. And then for you, like I have, a, I have bigger hands, so which is why I use nine. You guys might find that for yourself, it might be seven squares, eight squares, maybe 10 squares if you're even larger. So what I do is I, I fold it in half now right and i'm going to take the very smallest edge here and just cut them off okay so that's what it looks like there hopefully you guys can see it so what it looks like now is almost like like a figure eight or something like that so then i'm going to do that to the other side as well again just cut off the edges cut off the edges okay so now I'm gonna start, I, I, I always start on my middle finger, just have it. So I'm gonna remove it from the paper all the way, make sure that it doesn't touch. And then I'm gonna start with my middle finger, put it right in the center where that crease is. So it's gonna look just like this, stuck to my finger. 
Now I'm gonna put pressure on my middle finger, pull up and back, just like that. All right, and now I'm gonna repeat the same thing. I'm gonna pull and go down. So now my middle finger is taped just like that. You guys can see it. And then now you're just gonna repeat on the ring finger. Again, see, same thing, nice and stuck. Put pressure with my thumb on the ring finger, pull up and down. All right, and there you have it. That's how I tape my fingers. I, like I said, I bolt all the time and I film all the time. And usually in my filming sessions, I'll bowl eight, nine, sometimes 10 games. And this same tape stays on the entire session, never rolls up, never comes off. I know that some people like to like attach it, another little piece here, but honestly guys, with this Turbo Big Red, I've never had a situation where it's even come unstuck, even come off my fingers. And it's something that I really, really enjoy. So there's gonna be a link down below in the description where you can order your very own Turbo Big Red and it is a direct way to help support the channel, and I would super appreciate it, guys. So click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, try the tape out. You might love it like I do.